Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to be explaining to you guys how you can create epics in Trello. So let's get right into it. Now, basically, epics are a thing in Agile or DevOps development. Epics are basically a very big uh, subset or a very big functionality or, or a big milestone or pretty much a big uh, work segment in general, uh, which is then divided further into user stories. Uh, user stories are pretty much uh, small functionalities or anything relating to the product from the user's point of view. And epics are pretty much a group of those user stories, uh, which are under the banner of the epic, which is, as I've mentioned, a very big functionality or a, well, sum of smaller functionalities. So uh, to create one in Trello, what I would recommend you do is to create a list and the lists are pretty much the uh, closest thing to epics in, for example, Jira, which I have found. And then you can only enter a list name, for example, epic one. And that is pretty much it. Then you can change the color of it to mark its importance, do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can automate it if you want and archive the list. And you can then add cards, which are then user stories, for example, user story one story two story three just for example and you can click on each of them and pretty much just write down the description of the user story uh for the card that you want you can add members labels checklists to the card whatever you want you can automate it or add power-ups if you wanted to and that is basically it it is not uh, as good for example as in jira uh, or asana or some other uh, well apps or services directly uh planned or used for those development or developmental purposes. However, Trello is a very good tool to use. Uh, so you can use it and create epics in it like this if you want to. And that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.